all white uh, narrow beam and framing projector. This gave the picture um, a lot of skin tone, and nice, nice skin quality, but we lost the the, um, the highlights. They went quite yellow. So if I switch them on now. So this is the first layer. So this is the warm white. We've achieved the sculpting effect and the painting of light on the picture. But as you can see, like I mentioned before, the highlights have gone very flat and not very realistic. So in exactly the same position as the 3000 Kelvin light, I've shone a 4000 Kelvin white light into exactly the same position to bring back those highlights. So if I switch on the neutral lights now, you can then see how the, the blending of two colours, almost like how you would blend paint and sculpt with uh, clay, we've managed to achieve this extreme hyper-realism effect, uh, just adding more atmosphere to the whole experience. Um, Again, paying a lot of attention to the fact that it's displayed on the back wall. Uh, the frame is as, as important as the actual uh, picture itself. But yeah, this is how this is where we've got to on our journey so far. We're hoping to evolve it even further by having it more interactive with the people um, when viewing the picture. So we can have sensors in the ceiling, so when someone walks into a room, the lights come on and follow you around when it's in its ultimate sort of viewing position. Um, and it also works very nicely in people's homes. So throughout the day, even when it's completely light in their, in their room, it still has that effect. But as the day gets darker into the evening, it grows more and more out of the dark. So you, Turn in a piece of artwork, not into just something that's on your wall, but something that's living and breathing and becoming interactive with you all the time. So it's constantly changing and giving you new perspectives every day. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed the show. And uh, if there's any more questions, please come and ask me if you want to have any more information about the, the pictures and how they're painted, and if I've forgotten anything. But yeah, no, thank you very much for coming.